Hi everyone, and uh, we back again with five minutes to rivet. Uh, today we will see uh, the second degree in uh, visibility graphic uh, or uh, the graphic display er hierarchy. We will see the visibility graphic override. Uh, last five minutes we uh, we had uh, we had the object style. Uh, we we uh, we see the object style, how it's work, uh, how it's uh, applied for the whole project. Now we will see the visibility graphic override projection and cut line, how override the object style. That means if we have uh, some setting done from object style and we want to override this setting, we will use the visibility graphic. I think uh, most of uh, of the Revit user they are familiar with the VV or VG. I go, for example, here in in uh, this sheet, A2 plan section, and I double click to activate the, the view. Now, if I go to manage and in the manage, I go to uh, object style here, I click and I go to wall and now I can override uh, I can uh, just uh, to give a color for the wall like here, I will give orange and uh, the line weight, I will bring it to uh, here to seven, just to make it more, uh, more, uh, uh, more uh, uh, thick. And I will go here and I put here the dash dot dot, just like to have something like uh, done by the uh, object style you see here i have everything here applied for my uh, for the uh, for for all my walls now if i go to uh, the visibility graphic vv and uh, i go to walls and uh, in the walls here i will go for example in the cat Look in in the cat column here, and I go to the line. I will override it by here the pattern solid and the color. I will give it, uh, for example, here the blue color, and then the the line white. I will keep it four, and I click OK. 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 Now. What you see, you see that all the uh, all the lines that went that that uh, was been done by the object style now it's overrided. But you will see it, it it's still here some some line. This is in projection column. If we want to override this, it's in projection. If I go to VV, I can uh, uh, go to VV from here the property of floor plot and I go visibility graphic here, or I can go from the view, for example, visibility graphic, it's the same. For example, uh, I go uh, in wall here and the wall, if I go to surface line, I can, for example, just give it uh, the uh, pattern, this, uh, this one, and I can, for example, give it a color just like here, a pink color, for example. And the the line white, I put one. I OK, apply, apply. Now you see here, now we have that because we changed it in a projection uh, a column. If I go back here, that means this is this is what we what we have done for example if i go back to walls we change it in the projection column and this one we override it in the cat column this is the most uh, uh, confusing for the new users for example between how, why i override the line for the the wall but it doesn't work because it's two columns in the vv or visibility graphic one it's for projection uh, surface column, this one, and then this one for the cut. Uh, if, for example, I have uh, everything uh, uh, that it's uh, sitting uh, in my view, I want to apply it to another view. I can, for example, uh, create a view template. 
Now, for example, to create view template from this view, I can go to view template and create a template from current view. And I give it a name, for example, uh, floor plan presentation, for example. And I save it. Now it's saved in the view template. I just, okay. Now, if I want to override, for example, uh, my floor plan, for example, I can go just I to my view template and just choose the here all. This is floor plan. I search for floor plan presentation, apply. Et voila. Now we have applied the setting for the uh, uh, for the visibility graphic.